Ready to go now. And here is Brenton Doyle trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Here's a 1 1. That's and that's downstairs and outside. We got two balls, one strike. The count two and one. Ball. And that's another right. ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. And a big swing and a miss. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Back to the mound. It hit him. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Brenton Doyle with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming boo. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here so in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. And the right-hander deals. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Ezekiel Tovar with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Right-hander kicks deals. 2-1. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2 1. And fouled off. Doyle at second. Tobar on at first with nobody out. And okay. that one missing low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Michael Tolia hitting on deck circle. and misses it's a strikeout and that's the first strikeout of his major league career and it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him he doesn't want to just win games he wants to dominate at this level do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And Struck him out looking. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear. That wasn't his best call behind the plate today. So first and second with two outs. Jacob Stallings now. And that's a fair ball. Headed for the plate. And that rolls into the corner. One run is in. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Jacob Stallings with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Hunter Goodman digging in for the Rockies. Man at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Next offering is down low. And the righty deals. To the right side, there's Hernandez handling the chance. They limit the damage here. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two zip. Back here in L.A. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Austin Gomber. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Liner to second and picked on the hop to first. Nicely done for the out. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup and an important bat for them batting fifth in this one. Tommy Edmond. Well these days we know teams you know they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup but a guy like this they circle him make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So Ball it's going to be fun to see how they try Three to work ball, him right here. Right. Inside just missed. Lifted in the air, out to left. Has a beat on it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Yeah, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Two outs, base is empty. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one is upstairs. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And they're down 2-0. Second inning set to go. Here's the left fielder, Sam Hilliard. Sam Hilliard. The pitch. Two ball. One Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Sam Hilliard with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard. Next to hit for the Rockies, Jordan Beck. The pitch. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Jordan Beck with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's the rookie third baseman, Aaron Schunk. Next pitch in for a strike, and a count one and two. At the belt and fires. That's oh. down and in. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Got him looking. One out. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. On the ground. Slings to second, and that's two. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rockies two and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's the veteran first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. The 2-1. Wouldn't That's chase that time. That clips the zone, and it's three and two. I got three and two. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Tommy Edmond at the plate. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The Dodgers trailing by two, bottom half of inning number two. Outside, and it's two and two. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of that inning number two. The catcher, Will Smith. Two outs, space is empty. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Two outs, space is empty. And that one fouled off. Struck left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. New inning getting started. And the batter now is Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel Tovar. 
The one one. The shortstop takes the ball. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And he deals. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. The pitch. And a foul ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Two outs. That's ball two. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Pitch misses there. And a full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Jacob Stalling digs in now. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Tolia leads off first with two down to the inning. To the right side. He gets there with the slide. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. So one left for Colorado. They're up 2 nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now, Andy Pajes. On the ground to third. Sends it to Tolia. One up, one down. That again. The third baseman. Kike. Here's Kike Hernandez. The Dodgers down by a pair here in the last half of the third. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That misses. Nope. Two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Three. Got it by him for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the veteran outfielder, Chris Taylor. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Two strikes. And now the lefty. That one oh, just misses. Out. It's two and two. It's a good take. That's a little bit low. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to first. 
He takes it oh. himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Hunter Goodman. Hunter Goodman. Late that time, and it's strike two. Ooh, Ooh Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. The one, two. And that's in the dirt. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Lake Trinan preparing to come on if needed. Brazier also getting ready. And the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Center field in position. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. Left field. Sam. Sam Hillier digging in for the Rockies. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. One down, base is empty. Left field, Taylor settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Jordan Beck digging in for the Rockies. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Freeman makes a nice run and catch. Rockies are down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Bottom of the inning. Leading now it's the Dodger the leadoff Dodgers. hitter, Max Muncy. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground to the left. Oh, he gloves it. Throw to first. Now he launches a throw over his head. That's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision. And we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. And now it's Mookie Betts. Gets him to chase after that one. We got full count. And the pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Mookie Betts with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Here comes a pitch. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there.
Good eye right there. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. And he walked it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Line drive. Drops into the glove. Here comes the runner from third. The throw is off wide. He's saved. It's 2-1. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Two on, one out. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The Rockies leading by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one is absolutely belted. And that should be extra bases. One runs in. Rounds third headed for the plate. He will score and they take the lead. Three to two. Tommy Edmond with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Bird. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. One out. Runner at second. The batter now will be Will Smith. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Line to left. It drops in. Gets away a little bit. The run comes in from second. It's 4-2. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes this special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Runner on at first with one gone. Andy Pajas getting ready to hit. Right through there for a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Another one-two. Outside. Kicks and deals. That one misses. And that's ball three. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here's a rocket out to left. Hilliard makes the play.
Here's Kike Hernandez. Smith off of first with two away. Hit hard on the ground to short. To first. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Dodgers four and the Rockies two. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Late trying it. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So in now for Colorado, Aaron Schunk. The third baseman, Aaron Schunk. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good right movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. Shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made it look. That was just nasty. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball, two strikes. One out, base is empty. Got him. That's out number two. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. So two down now, and here is Ezekiel Tovar. Slider misses outside. The Dodgers leading by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Popped in the air. Left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here comes Chris Taylor. Taylor, a middle infielder by trade, played his college baseball at the University of Virginia. Swing and a miss as he was late. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Ryan Feltner, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Quantrill warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Ball. He caught it behind his back. Fires to first, and they get the out. The bat, the designated hitter, Matt Muncy. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. The lefty fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you... Oh, that got him. No, but I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Two outs. At the ball. Swing and a miss. Bets the runner at first with two gone. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. One left for L.A., but they still lead this one four to two. Top six. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. And a 1-1. Swings through that. Movement in the bullpen. Evan Phillips looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Garcia, the lefty, warming up as well. And another ball. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Brendan Rodgers with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, boy. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Michael Tolia. And another ball. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Next is the designated hitter, Jacob Stalling. Runner on the go. Swing and a miss. Go to second, and he's out. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Wouldn't chase that time. Hunter Goodman up next. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Goes down looking. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Dodgers four and the Rockies two.
Ryan Feltner takes over on the mound. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Ready. Greenman. Just okay. missed. And he grounds one back up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting. The shortstop. Tommy Edmund. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tommy Edmund. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Beck settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. Catcher, Will. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Will Smith. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. <laughs> Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. In the air, right field. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Evan Phillips. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now, here is Hunter Goodman. Bounce to the right side, and that's just foul. The one two. And that skips in the dirt. And there's a the ball. And down on strikes. One gone here. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Fly ball center field. Pajes on his way in. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that quickly two away. And now the right fielder, Jordan Beck. The one one. Nope. Two one. Just missed. Aaron Shunk up next for the Rockies. The Dodgers holding on to a two run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. And there's ball no, four. Take the break. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Aaron Shunk, the next to hit. Tying run at the plate. And one and two. And the right hater deals. That one missed. Beck leads off first with two down to the inning. And 
a swing and a miss. That's the third out. The Rockies strand one. They trail it here, four to two. Back here in L.A., set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Andy Pajes. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Line drive, caught! That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And up next for Los Angeles, Enrique Hernandez. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Swing and a miss and he got him. And there's two away. Now batting. Left field. Chris Taylor down. Chris. Taylor. Two down, nobody on. Pitch misses ball. there. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. And a curve drops in for a strike. Two outs. The other way, Tolia. He takes it on his own, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Daniel Hudson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Brenton Doyle now at the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Right-hander kicks deals. Just misses with that one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold lover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Digging in, hey. Ezekiel Tovar. One ball, two strikes. Next offering is downstairs. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the Where fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. The Dodgers up by two, and we're in the top of the eighth. And that one nope. off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some the really close seven. pitches and Second somehow eight. Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That one down the line. One at second. 
Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Offense held in check there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers four and the Rockies two. Dodger Stadium, bottom of the eighth. Max Muncy at the dish. Two on that. Good eye in that spot. You know, these Dodgers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. They get the out on Muncie. And there's one down. Now that the right fielder, Mookie. Yeah. Here's Mookie Betts now. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Liner picked on the hop at first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Righty reliever out of the pen, Joe Kelly. A chance at his first save of the year. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Michael Tolia. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. This one popped up. Hernandez has it sized up. Makes the catch for the out. One down. And next is the designated hitter, Jacob Stallings. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Calls it in, two away. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the Rockies catcher, Hunter Goodman. One strike away. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Here's a 2-2. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, dude. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. And your final, 4-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.